Mr. Vice President, do you remember the time that we were the new kids in town? So this is uh, basically something that is mandatory, that every congressperson has to sign, saying that, what, Jerusalem, you said, is the capital of Israel, and what else? Uh, uh, you make a commitment that you will vote to support the military superiority of Israel, that um, uh, the economic assistance that Israel wants, that you would uh, vote to provide that. This isn't a question for the Congress people serving that they are representing or they're supposed to be representing the people of the United States, not a foreign country, and yet they have to pledge allegiance yes. to a foreign state. That's what no I one was, questions this. That's what I was asked to do. They control much of the media, they control much of the commerce of the country, and they control powerfully both bodies of the Congress. They own the Congress. It's an objective assessment that no one will have the courage to speak about. They're controlling much of our foreign policy, but I believe that Israel has a powerful stranglehold on the American government. They control both members of the House, the House and the Senate. They have us involved in wars of which we have little or no interest. Our children are coming back in body bags. Our nation is bankrupt over these wars. And if you open your mouth, you get targeted. Well, I became a top target of the Israeli lobby, and no question, you know, I'm labeled anti-Semite, which I'm really not, but they do control much of our government, our press, uh, Broadway, Hollywood, and, and the money system, and they basically control this country. And you do not want Israel as an enemy, and I became an enemy of Israel. That, I think, was my downfall.